Suppose she has to make more. Yeah. Hi, Evelyn. Hi, it's Sheila. I was just wondering if you'd like to come up to weaving today. Okay, whenever you're ready. Okay. Art represents the beauty in our lives. And without it, there's no enrichment. Did you show them your penguin? <laughs> Evelyn, I'll be right with you, dear. On Thursday, I have a wonderful class with Lori, and we do beautiful, beautiful ceramics with her. For a minute, because they're easier to work with when they firm up. Annie is dealing with a lot of issues uh, physically, and it doesn't stop her. I mean, she's like the epitome of the involved creative student. She is involved in everything. I'm going to just put this here. I have encountered people who truly should have been doing this their whole lives because they are that taken with it and good at it. I hope Annie comes. There's also one. Without the teacher, I, I would know nothing. You're smart. <laughs> I'm not as smart as you are, though, dear. Well, you better not be. I'm the teach. <laughs> you know, when I was young, they used to give us pictures and that was, that was so precious. Then they eliminated that. They cut all the arts out of the, the public schools. And this is very sad. I think that if you ask people of my generation, if they could do nothing else but put pennies in a box to be sent to the school toward art education, it should be returned. And I think people would respond. Wherever there was an art, a museum, I always took my children with me. And then as they grew older, they introduced it to their children. And so it grew. Okay. Now you do two turns, two turns on now. that string. Okay. Okay, two turns. Okay, two turns this side and two, two turns, turns that, side. that side. Okay. And this was my first doll. This is what I sketched. And then I painted it all up. This is all from within. And it's hours of enjoyment. You get lost with that. 